Hello and welcome back to the Pokemon Unbound playthrough. This is part 11. In this episode, we're here with honestly a pretty similar team to what we had last time. Um, we did have a little bit of an interesting fight. Uh, it was definitely pretty tough, but you know what? We have three Pokemon to fight, one of which being an Alakazam, which I have done the fight one more time as like a test to see what I need. And to be honest, I do think we can get through this with just Noctowl, Lucario, and Crobat if things go very well. Um, so I've brought Boulder along because it has Sturdy, and to be honest, Clefable got one shot. So, the plan is simple. Mistrevis goes down to Noctowl with Air Slash because Mistrevis doesn't really do anything to Noctowl. Lucario should be able, able to deal with the Alil Persian, and funnily enough, Crobat does actually outspeed the Alakazam. I'm assuming the Alakazam is like a modest nature or something, so we can go ahead and bite the Alakazam with that. We can also use Faint with Lucario after it takes out the Alolan Persian. We should be okay with this. To be honest, in an ideal situation, we take out the Pokemon with like just three, because I think I then led into another battle? Don't know. Didn't really get to see much of it, because I kind of got away. So, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. But, we've gone ahead. We've read all of this. We know that we have Shadow Boy on the left there that's going to go ahead and fight us. And to be honest, this fight's a little difficult. It's it's a little difficult. To be honest, every fight lately has been a little difficult. Insane has definitely started to really become a thing. And I'm a little bit afraid. I'll admit, I'm a little bit afraid of what's to come. Um, we're also just over the level cap, and that does mean that we have... You know, the, the possibility of fighting Pokemon a little bit stronger than this, because obviously not all of my Pokemon are capped on XP anymore. That means we don't have to, you know, it means we have the little, the little scary thing of one of my Pokemon could hit level 26 before the rest do. And that means that that could bump up the enemy's level to level 27 or whatever, while the rest is 25. It's only a level difference, but it does make a difference. So, we'll see how it goes. For right now though, we are absolutely fine, just keep spamming Air Slash. Confused Ray is annoying for sure, if we hit ourselves then, yeah, that can kind of ruin the whole plan. So hopefully we don't hit ourselves in Confusion, we can cross our Pinky Toes. Which isn't a thing, you can't actually cross your Pinky Toes. If you can, I'm actually very impressed if you can. You know what, to be fair, if you can cross your Pinky Toes, kudos to you. Kudos to you. There's the Persian we want to see though. We snap out of Confusion, that's amazing, first of all. We hit the Persian on the special side, which does a ton of damage. There we go. And we're just going to air slash again. He's going to swagger, boost our attack. Honestly, if we can just keep breaking through confusion, I think Noctowl will end up doing a whole bunch of this fight by itself, which would be amazing. It does break through confusion. Noctowl right now is kind of sweeping. Kind of. Just gonna keep clicking air slash. We get hit by punishment, which is gonna KO because we have plus two in attack, so punishment does a lot of damage. But you know what? That did pretty well. That actually did really, really well. We're still gonna go into Lucario. Mostly because if we can get. I don't know if I wanna try and lose. I don't know if... Sorry, I don't know if I wanna try and power up punch. If I power up punch and get the boost, it means we do so much more damage to that Alakazam, and that's actually really important. So I think I'm going to try and power up punch. Play rough. I mean, we should live that just fine. Oh yeah, that doesn't do much at all. We are fine with that, actually. That is absolutely A-OK. -okay. Power up punch is going to take it out. We are going to get the attack boost. Is Alakazam going to come in to try and finish us off? Or is Mistrevis going to come back in? We'd also level up. Which isn't actually a good thing. Because it does mean that the rest of my team is level 25. There's the Alakazam I wanted to see. This so far is working out how I played it out in my head. So we go for the faint, plus one. Does a ton of damage because of the crit. The expanding force is gonna take us out, but that does mean that we can come in with the crowbat and we can bite. And honestly, we could even, if we had just had an imaginary choice item on our crowbat, we could lock ourselves into bite and be absolutely A-OK -okay because we have a mysterious in the back, which isn't very scary at all. So we outspeed the Alakazam, which is, Beautiful, honestly. Just the fact that we outspeed is so nice. It is so, so nice. Uh, good old Minior also levels up, which is, you know, at this point, appreciated. And we can just go ahead. We can fight through the Mistrevis. It is definitely an evil eye Mistrevis. I am 100% sad on that. I refuse to believe that it isn't, like, it's so bulky. It's so incredibly bulky. And we bite through the Mistrevis and we take out the fight. 
Heck yeah. Okay. Alright. I'm glad that we took out the fight. <laughs> I am. Trying to land Quick Guard. I don't think we want Quick Guard. I don't. I don't see that being useful. I don't. Maybe we'll come into a double battle at some point, but at the moment, I don't care for Quick Guard. Maybe I'll regret that later, but we'll see. Oh, Ivory. How could you and Marlin both fail me? I thought you were stronger than this. Death. We're scientists. We're not meant to be doing this kind of thing. If Ivory is unable, then Houndoom and I will have to show you the meaning of pain ourselves. Oh, well, this sucks. <laughs> Zeph, with only Houndoom, I'm not certain you can beat him. Silence, Ivory. Houndoom and I are more than capable of defeating him. Time to suffer. And what if I don't want to suffer? Right? What then? What if I decided to wake up today and say, hey, I don't want to suffer. Do I get a choice in the matter? Probably not. Houndoom level 27. And we also gonna end up leading with Minior because our knockdown did get taken out. But honestly, I think I'm okay with this. I think we just go for an ancient power. There's always the chance of a boost and stuff. It is a mega Houndoom. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Dark Pulse, don't flinch me. We don't get flinched, we get the ancient power off. Boost me. Boost me. Boost. Boost. No boost. But we go into Shield's down form. I don't think that's gonna allow us to outspeed the Houndoom, but I can believe. Sucker Punch. Well, we're definitely not outspeeding that. That's not how speed works at all. Okay, well. Um. Let's see. How do we want to go about this? We still have Sturdy on Baldor. I would assume the Crobat can either live a hit or outspeed. So I think if we go into Baldor, again, we don't get flinched by Dark Pulse and we just get a smackdown. Honestly, it might even be enough to KO its stab. Physical from a Baldor. There's a, there's a chance. There's a chance. We are going to be taking down to 1 HP for sure. Don't flinch. We don't flinch. Okay, nice. Smackdown does. Pretty respectable amount of damage, not enough to KO, but, you know, impossible. Yeah, I mean, that kind of sucks, actually, the fact that it didn't KO. We are going to get Suck Punch, that's whatever. Not really a lot we can do about that. There wasn't anything else we didn't click. Um, we have to go into Crobat, because Revombi's just not going to do anything right now. And we Cross Poison? It outspeeds, it Sucker Punches, we can live that. Oh, we left that just fine, and we cross poison, and we take out the Houndoom. There we go. Okay, it's a good day when you come into this game, and you win on your first attempt. That makes me feel better. Okay. <laughs> I thought I was going to be stuck here for, like, the entire episode, I'm going to be honest. But here we go! You're too dangerous to be set free. I am the danger. Houndoom, take this to feel better. My supply of max revives is near infinite. No, wait, no, that, no, I don't like that. I could fight you over and over again until you're worn down, but that would be a waste of time. Fortunately, I have you surrounded, so you won't be able to reach your Pokeballs again. This is a prime opportunity to get rid of you. It's too risky to leave you alive at this point. Town Doom, incinerate. Uh, what, what, what if he didn't? What if, oh, hi, Hooper, how you doing? Wait, Town Doom, pull back. Something's happening. Runs? Grab him now, before he gets away. <laughs> Hop through the pole we go! <laughs> yep, you're not gonna stop me! Where on earth? Hoo-wee! If that ain't the darndest thing I ever did see. It's a boy coming out of some magic portal. Where'd you come from, boy? What's that? You were trying to get to find a cap mountain when all of a sudden you were kidnapped? Hoo-wee! That sure sounds scary, boy. It's kind of a fun voice. <laughs> Well, if you hadn't been kidnapped, you'd have been having a lot less trouble getting to Thundercat Mountain. You see, part of the ceiling collapsed not long ago and blocked off the road. And unless you have the HM for Rockety Smashity, you'll be in a bit of a pickle getting through him. I just woke up, okay? <laughs> but, I'm guessing you don't, or you wouldn't still be talking to me. In that case, oh sorry, in that case, a friend of mine in Blizzard City ought to help you out by giving you Rockety Smashity. So, take this HM to help yourself get to him. HM01 cup. Okay, okay. 
hopefully, you know, we don't need to teach Cut to our Pokemon, but I imagine we do. What's that? You don't know what an HM is? Hooey! Well, an HM or a hidden machine is a special type of move that can you can give to a Pokemon so it can remove your obstacles. As long as the HM is in your cube and your Pokemon in your party capable of learning it, it can be used in the field even if the Pokemon can't battle. In other words, your Pokemon don't need to know the HM to use it. Oh, this is one of them good games right here. Ain't that convenient. Anyway, use that HM for cut to get rid of that pesky tree block in Valley Cave. Oh, the, the one in the city? Exit C, Crater Town. So I just head back to Crater Town? Oh, that's, okay, that's where we are. Yeah, okay, so we go and cut the tree down that was just up here. That's fine, that's fine. I am gonna go and put Baldor away again. Yes, it has Sturdy, and Sturdy did just prove to be very, very useful. But to be honest, that was more for that fight because I had a little, like, practice session to make sure I knew how to actually beat that battle reasonably quickly. I needed a little bit of luck on not getting flinched, but I had somewhat of a plan for that because I didn't want to waste everyone's time by me doing that battle hundreds and hundreds of times. So for right now, we're going to go ahead and take the goodbye back as it can gain a few more levels. And... As much as I want to take the Clefairy back, it's bad. Like, you'd think it would be bulky, but it's not that bulky and it only has Disarming Cry. I can't even use Minimize. It's not that good. It's not that good. So, we're going to roll with this for the time being. And we are going to go, and honestly, I kind of want to see what else is down in that little pathway. I don't know if it's just going to be that one dude. Okay, I'm glad we didn't get attacked by Grunts again. That drove him insane. But what is actually down this way? Oh, we need Rock Smash to continue. Right, got it. Yeah, that kind of explains what he just said. Uh, in theory, I really should have picked up that he was saying, hey, you didn't need Rock Smash to get past this point, but I didn't. So, he did say that we we're going to need Cut, or at least a Pokemon that can learn Cut on our team. Do we have a Pokemon that can learn Cut? Yes, we have the Bite that I just took with us. So the Bite should, in theory, be able to go ahead and chop down this tree without us even doing anything. So, Cut. Uh, Oh, there we go, and it's a quick animation as well. Okay, I love that. Valley Cave, first floor. What Pokemon can we find here, I guess, as well? Woobat, which honestly is a decent Pokemon. I don't want anyone thinking that Woobat's bad. That genuinely could be really good if we took one of those. Like, Calm Mind with Simple, it's good. Swoobat, base 114 speed, it's good. It just is. I am going to leave with Crobat, because it's the fastest Pokemon I have, so we should be able to run away from anything that we need to. Um, hi, are you going to battle me? You are going to battle me, okay. Youngin, you do not know what you're getting into. I'm getting into pain. Um, that's, that's kind of the idea of the game, and the difficulty that I've chosen. It's, it's pain. I'm, I'm sadly aware, to be honest. That's been made painfully aware of the past couple of battles, really. Um, I don't fight ground types well. So I'm just going to wing attack and see how much it does. It's respectable. It's respectable. I was afraid it was going to be like an Eevee like Gligar or something stupid just on a random trainer. But I do think random trainers are still decent fights. You know, they're not, they're not crazy boss battles, which is good. Because when every single fight becomes a boss battle, the game becomes tedious. The game becomes a lot more unfun. So having these normal trainers so you can at least get some XP in between the big fights and feel like you're making progress is just really nice. So I am glad about that. What else do you have? A Noibat. I'm not that afraid of the Noibat, to be honest. Maybe I should have went for Cross Poison there, but I don't think it really matters too much. I imagine with an agility we're going to be outsped, but also I don't think it really matters too much. It doesn't even outspeed with an agility. My Crobat is very fast. Why well, am I so surprised it got outsped before by the Swoobat, actually? Like, I'm guessing it must have been, like, the Swoobat must have been EV trained. Because Crobat's really fast. Uh, what is this, first of all? Gimme. Stardust, okay, I mean... Money isn't actually that important for us, because we can't use all these items in battle and stuff. Banpy could be fun. We already have ourselves ground types, but, I mean, it's another Pokemon that can get sturdy, potentially. A dumb fan of Sturdy could be pretty good. We'll see. This dude's just like, Yar! Yar! 
I like to imagine they say it in the most pathetic voice possible, like he just comes up to you, all menacing, face just like straight down in a scowl, and he's like, he hard. It's beautiful. <laughs> Can you tell I just woke up? <laughs> We're gonna wing attack the matchup, matchup goes down, do we get any level ups? The level ups, what else do you have? A machop perhaps? A mankey, okay, alright. Keep sending out your baby form Pokemon, that's fine. I love seeing Pokemon that aren't evolved. It makes me feel much more relaxed about going through this. Again, no level ups. And then the big boy in the back. Hariyama. There's the big boy in the back that you expect to see. We can just wing attack. Fighting type moves don't do anything particularly scary to us. Yeah, it might... Oh, it has knockoff. Never mind. That's not the move I was expecting. I was thinking it was going to use Smelling Salt. Because to be honest, when I see a Hariyama, that's the only move I think of. But, either way. Probat, good Pokemon to leave up right there. No pain, no gain. No game, no life. Good anime. Still wait for season two. It'll never happen, but I want to believe. Should really read the light novels for that. But um, we're going to go ahead and put Crobat back a little bit. I think we're going to leave him for Bombi, because as I said, I want fast Pokemon in the front, so I don't have to deal with um, random Pokemon, and I want to be able to run away from them, rather than being stuck in battles with random Pokemon and then whirling down my team before I even fight trainers. That kind of sucks. So I'll leave through a bombie, even if we are in a cave where rock types could realistically destroy me. Um, ooh, Zygarde Cell. I did pick up... Yeah, okay, we're eight, okay. I needed, like, a refresher on how many we were actually up to. Two more Zygarde Cells so we can have ourselves a baby Zygarde. Two more. That's not many. It's not many. I don't know if we're going to be able to get two more uh, Zygarde Cells before the next, like, boss battle that bogs us down for a bit. But... I can believe. I'd like to pretend. I think it would be convenient. So, we'll see. Ranger Nicholas sent out Oracorio. Fun Pokemon, but not necessarily good. Definitely a fun Pokemon, though. Um, we can just go ahead and... Honestly, what do I even hit you with? Can I pull and buff you? No. You're Ghost, right? You're Ghost Oracorio? I don't even know my Oracorio forms. What am I doing? Um, Ghost, I think I just swap out. And go, like, straight into good old Minior and Ancient Power, or even Rollout. We could Defense Color Rollout. Also, I feel like Rollout... It just doesn't get going. You know, we're not tanky enough to really get Rollout going. I'm gonna click it because I haven't clicked it in a while, but I never feel like I can get multiple off in a row. But we'll give it a go. Rollout does a little bit. With that power being doubled, it might KO? Possibly? I'd like it to. It does KO. That's second rollout damage, though. Dang. Dang. Pretty much how much the uh, ancient power would have done, to be honest. But still, dang. At least now we have a decently strong rollout for whatever Pokemon comes out next. Just don't be resistant to rock. Murkrow. Goodbye, Murkrow. It was nice knowing you. Um, thank you for putting me into my stronger form. I'm actually completely okay with this. That just guarantees that this attack KOs. Never mind, I'm not even going to go into my stronger form before the turn goes off. That's unfortunate. But still, it KOs. It's a rollout. It does what it needs to do. I wish rollout was more consistent, you know? I wish it was, like, an 100% accurate rock-type move. Did we miss that? No. But still. Rock-type moves, why do they all miss? Why do they all have a chance to miss? It makes no sense. I get that most of them are throwing rocks, and to be honest, throwing rocks isn't the most accurate thing in the world, but still. I want it to be more accurate. They're Pokemon. They're magical beings. Surely they can use their eyes and land a rock if that's their entire being. Like a Geodude missing a rock throw? What else does it do all day? Come on now. It's just... it's weird. TMO3 Water Pulse. To be honest, if a Pokemon can learn that, I will absolutely teach that to someone, because we don't have any water type coverage, so can we learn Water Pulse? Lucario can learn Water Pulse. It's not really the Pokemon I wanted it on. But then again, I don't know who else would have wanted it on my team, to be honest. It makes sense that it's the only one that can. It's not bad coverage. Like, it would be really nice to have a water type move, but at the moment, I'm just gonna hold off on that because it doesn't really fit its moveset at the moment with the whole power up punch thing that we have going on. So, we'll see. I've been strolling in this cave since I was a young lad. That's actually mad impressive. Dang. I think he's lying to me, but 
I like to imagine he's just genuinely been stuck in this cave and can't leave. I do like to imagine that. I imagine that's not the case. I imagine he just means that he visits this cave a lot, and he's strolled around it since he was a kid. But I do really do like to imagine that he's just been in here forever, and this is his home. Critical hit, roll out. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. In fact, let me heal up off of your body. Okay, we're gonna suck the fan piece now. We're just gonna suck on it and get our health back. Beautiful. I'm gonna pretend that crit didn't happen, basically. Don't suck on Fampy Snow. Don't do that. Whatever you do, don't do that. That's weird. Houndoom. Why do you have a Houndoom? Hey, buddy. Why do you have a Houndoom? I don't have my Boldor anymore. I hope I outspeed. We can just pull him up for you. Okay, that's good, at least. At least I know that if I outspeed with Rawombi, I outspeed with Crobat. And between the Pollen Puff... We actually live as well, which is crazy. But between the Pollen Puff and Cross Poison, we'd be able to take out. When I see Houndoom, I expect Mega now. Just because of that one fight. But to be honest, two Pollen Puffs takes it out, and that's... Very... Unexpected. We have level 28 on our Crobat, level 27 on our Lucario. Level 26 on our Noctowl. Poor Noctowl is not getting the XP that it deserves. <laughs> you know everything there is about this cave, okay. Long ago, there was a readable inscription on the tablet below. However, it appears that it's long since eroded away. What I remember, I believe it said something along the lines of, pressing the switch with insect is the key. I mean, I have an insect. I have a bug type hook. I wonder if that's what they mean. But I don't have surf, so I can't get over there. So, scrap that for now, I guess. Um... Hi, Chansey. Are you going to heal me? No? Okay. Well... 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 Route 6 Potato Fields. Oh. I think I'm just going to run back and heal real quickly, as there's a Chansey here, so I probably am meant to heal. Okay, and as we're all healed up back on Route 6, I think I'm just going to go ahead and put Crobat back in front. Um, I don't have to worry too much about it getting over-leveled or anything like that, because I'm assuming there's going to be a level cap at level 30. That would just make sense in my mind, so... We can just go ahead and use Crobat until it's level 30 just fine. Oh my god, there's Sunkan here. I want to kill it so badly. I'm killing it. I... I can't hold myself back, okay? It's a Sunkan. I have to bully it, alright? I have to bully it for letting Grass-types down. I like Grass-types and Sunkan let us down. That's how it goes. But I will grab the Zygarde Cell, and that brings us up to 9. We are one away from the all-important 10th of the Zygarde Cell, and then we can have ourselves our baby Zygarde. And to be honest, I don't know if I'm happy about that. Because it will mean that I probably won't be using Gabite for a while, and Gabite is meant to be my starter, and it just hasn't felt useful yet, you know? It just hasn't felt like the Pokemon I want it to be. For a start, while viewing items in the cubelets, you sort them. That's true, I also need to read all of those, because that helps me get that one quest done where I have to prove that I'm literate. <laughs> I have not forgotten that I have to prove that I'm literate, okay? I remember. <laughs> Teehee, if you look at the bridge on the right, you must be looking for adventure. I'm not looking for adventure. I think we should head left, actually. I do not want to find adventure. Sunken? Well, we got our practice in. We took out a Sunken to make sure that we were ready for this all-important boss battle. I mean, we're going to employ a different strategy against this one, just in case it's stronger. Just kidding, it's not stronger. It's a Sunken. Poor Sunken. No, not poor Sunken. Sunken sucks. I'm having an internal battle with myself. Uh, but we can go ahead and just wing attack down a Nidorina. Is this our best Pokemon to deal with a Nidorina? No, but also I feel like Crobat just deals with poison types fine. There's nothing a Nidorina can really do to us to damage us. I say as it lands four Furious Wipes in a row. Okay, calm down there, buddy. Okay, are we going to see five in a row in a crit? There's the crit. Yep. Yeah, only three. Okay, you know what? I'm just kind of used to my luck with multi-hit moves being five in a row with a crit. Which, to be fair, if you hit five times, you are likely to get a crit, because obviously, you know, that's five times the crit chance, so... It makes sense, it's just really annoying. Because when you get hit five times and there's a crit added into boot, it just makes you kind of feel like you got kicked in the gut, like, damn. If you beat me, I'll tell you which one gets you to the next route. I'm assuming the one on the right, but... I want to battle everyone for XP anyway, because I want to hit the cap realistically. Hitting the level cap is just convenient. It brings all of my Pokemon up to the same level, and means that I don't have to worry about anyone being, like, a couple of levels down, because my Crobat is level 28. Cough, cough. Knocked out. So, this is fine. 
and we can go ahead and beat up your poor little dealing, which is kind of funny. Seeing the normal frames compared to the boss battles is pretty funny. Um, I don't, I don't know which way is actually the right way then. I was expecting to come to a dead end on one of these bridges. I thought one of these ways was just going to be like a very hot and dry kind of, hey, this is the wrong way, but now I'm not sure. Maybe the other way was the wrong way, because we saw there was like ledges. Hmm. Maybe I missed something. I don't entirely know. Either way, against Luxio, that I am going to swap out against, because I don't want to get hit by a spark. No, thank you. You can keep your sparks to yourself, I'm going to go into Gabite, and we're finally going to see Gabite do something, I hope. Because Gabite has not been great yet. Okay, we immune the electric type move. We have Sand Tomb. It's not the strongest move of all time. I think I prefer Dig, honestly, but you know what? We'll take it. There's Half of the Dream. I would love to learn a move like even Bulldoze. Bulldoze would be good because lowering speed could actually be really useful. Sand Tomb just isn't. It's not the ground type coverage I want, you know? Earthquake's obviously the ideal, don't get me wrong, alright? Having Earthquake is just the best, but... Do you have a berry? Oh my god, you have a wiki berry! That's what the dude was talking about. He was talking about wiki berries, and you actually used the berry he was talking about. That makes complete sense, and it annoys me. <laughs> How dare you? That team doesn't quite take it out. I guess we should realistically just go for dual chop. It probably would have done more damage to just go for two dual chops in the beginning, but still. I wanted to try and use our ground coverage, because it was the time to use it, realistically. What else do you have? More electric types, maybe? Cricketune. I mean, we have Fire Fang, so we'll give it a go. Bonk. Damage. Respectable damage. We get the burn. Okay. And the flinch. Holy. Where is this luck when I need to fight big boss boys? Huh? Where is this luck when I'm fighting a gym leader and don't want them to get free protects off in a row? Where is my luck then, huh? I can get the flinch burn on Firefang now, sure. Is it important? No. <laughs> and you have another Luxio. Well, I guess this is a chance to try it out. Does two dual shops just do the job better? Honestly, yeah, it does. We'll just go for two dual shops. That works way better than going for Sandtoon, to be honest. Oh, never mind. I take it back. I take it all back. I take it. I take all. I take it all back. The luck is not here. I take it back. All right. It counteracted itself. It's fine. That's how it goes, I guess. Um, we'll just go into Blucario, and I guess we'll just go for like a low sweep or something to finish it. But that was uh, not the dream. Not the dream. Please KO and don't give it a wiki berry boost. Okay, good. Yeah, that that crit. As I said, goodbye. Just doesn't. It's not doing it. You know, it's not doing what I want it to do. Well, letting a Pokemon hold a wiki berry, make sure it doesn't have a conflicting nature. That is true, that is true. It is very true. We can also have dealing. I mean, none of the Pokemon that I've seen are really crazy and make me think, yeah, I want to use that. Route 6, Valley Cave, Auburn Waterway, Route 7, Frost Mountain, Route 14. I mean, I guess we head down, go to the Waterway. Hi. Heading south takes you to the Auburn Waterway, a route that connects Route 6 to Route 10. You'll need Surf if you want to get there, though. Oh. Okay. There's nothing I can really do down this way? Oh, okay, yeah, got it, alright then. The 10th cell! It's right there! It's right in front of me! Why? Why would they do this? Why would they do this to me? I can see it right there! It's so rude. Well, I imagine if we head to that route, we're probably going to have an event of some sort happen. So let's head down the upper bridge real quick and see if there was anything else we could grab that way. And that way we can at least feel like we're rounding things off with the completion of a route. There's an item. I guess that was an effort, not the craziest thing of all time. Um, it looks like I can actually go down this way. Is there anything down this way that I might want to grab or not? I don't know if there's anything down here that I care about. Maybe this is Zygod Cell, actually. That's something I'd care about. If we can get a Zygod Cell, then I can go back and grab ourselves a decent, um, 10 cent Zygod. I don't know if I'll have to, like, try and save Scum and reset, try and get a good nature on it, and try and get, like, a jolly nature or something, but I'll do it. I'll absolutely do it. 
Alright, there's nothing down this way. I thought there might have been something in the corner, but it doesn't seem like it. We can get Shinx. That's a fun Pokemon. I don't know if it'd be good as such. I guess I could have Intimidate. Could have Intimidate. It might be worth it. Oh my god, I don't want to use Repel, okay? I just, I don't want to use Repel. I'm sorry, but I don't. TM? TM95 Struggle Bug. I mean, we already have that move on our bug type, so I mean, that's not anything particularly crazy, but sure, I guess. Sure. And then we have a way down here that we can surf if we ever get surf, but we don't have that. Meaning, I think, to be honest, after this battle, we're done with this route. And I suppose we're not going to get our temp like our cell just yet. Unfortunate, but we're very close. We're very close. Beedrill, can you do me a favor and just get wing attacks, please? Your defense is pretty paper thin. Yep, okay. About what I expected. I hope we don't have to fight any Mega Beedrills at any point, because Mega Beedrill scares me. It's so good. Like, adaptability, it's incredibly fast and all that. I, I'm a little bit afraid. A little bit. Uh, we don't care about Metal Sound, the entire point of our Lucario is that we use Power Up Punch and try and bot things. And you also have a Krakatoon, which once again, we need to go ahead and wing attack. You might live because you're a Krakatoon rather than a Beedrill, but honestly, it's not going to make too much of a difference. It does not live, and with that, I do think that we've taken out all the trainers in this route, and I think we've grabbed everything on this route, meaning it feels like a nice place to go ahead and wrap things up for today. So, we're going to wrap up the episode right here. We did our important battle against, um, you know, the Houndoom man that I've already forgotten the name of, Zeph. There we go, it came to me in the end. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and I'll put Bye!